and welcome to Colin's Time to Bake. This week I made a pug cake for somebody's birthday and it was probably one of the most technical things I have ever done. It was fun, yeah, but I did make a mistake when I made the first one and it didn't really turn out right, so I had to scrap that and start again. For the recipe I used one of these and the recipe you're about to see actually makes two squares of cake mix, so you want to double up, just so you know. If you have any questions about this, feel free to leave comments below and also like, share and subscribe to my channel. But let's get to the part you're all waiting for, how to make a pug cake. Let's go! 